You know, when you think about Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone, it's hard not to be amazed by what she accomplished in the 400M hurdles at the Paris Olympics. Just a day after turning 25, Sydney stepped onto the track and did something truly extraordinary. She shattered her own world record, crossing the finish line in a mind-blowing 50.3 seconds. I mean, breaking your own world record? That's not something you see every day, right? From the very first stride, you could tell Sydney was in a league of her own. She glided over those hurdles with such ease and power, it was like watching a masterclass in hurdling. By the time she reached the final stretch, she had left her rival, Femke Bol, trailing more than 10 meters behind. It wasn't just a victory, it was a statement. A reminder to the world that Sydney is the undisputed queen of the 400M hurdles. What's even more impressive is the time she clocked in at 50.3 seconds. To put that into perspective, this wasn't just a slight improvement over her previous best. It was a leap forward that no one quite expected, even though we've all come to expect greatness from her. Before this, Sydney had set the bar high with a time of 51.90 seconds back at the Tokyo Olympic trials. And yet, here she was, pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible once again. It's no wonder she's not just breaking records, she's redefining what it means to be a world-class athlete. And let's not forget about Femke Bol. She's no slouch, an incredible athlete in her own right, who's constantly challenging Sydney in competitions across Europe and beyond. But in this race, Sydney was in a class all her own, leaving Bol and everyone else in the dust. It was more than just a win, it was a domination, and it solidified Sydney's place as one of the greatest track and field athletes of our time. So, how did Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone get to this point where she's smashing world records left and right? Well, it's been quite the journey, one that started back at the Tokyo Olympic Trials, when she first set the world record with a time of 51.90 seconds. That was the moment when the world really took notice of her. But Sydney didn't stop there. She's the kind of athlete who's always looking for the next challenge, the next barrier to break. Over the years, Sydney has continuously chipped away at her own records, pushing herself harder and harder. Think about it. Setting a world record is one thing, but breaking it again and again. That takes a special kind of dedication. And it's not just about physical training, though that's a huge part of it. It's about the mindset, too. Sydney's got this incredible ability to stay focused to keep her eyes on the prize even when the pressure is at its highest. Her journey is a testament to what can be achieved with relentless hard work and an unyielding belief in oneself. Each time she broke the world record, whether it was the 51.41 at the World Championships in 2022 or the 50.68 at the US Olympic Trials, it was like she was sending a message. I'm not done yet. And clearly, she wasn't. Her most recent record of 50.3 seconds is proof of that. After watching Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone break her own world record in the 400M hurdles, you can't help but wonder what kind of impact she could have on Team USA's 4x400M relay team. Even though she's not officially in the relay pool right now, the idea of adding her to the squad is seriously exciting. Her speed and flawless technique could completely change the dynamics of the team giving them an edge that would be hard to beat. Imagine how the competition would feel lining up against Team USA and seeing Sydney ready to run. Her presence alone could shake things up. And then there's the thought of her going head to head with her rival Femke Bol again, this time in a relay race. It could set the stage for another thrilling showdown, with Sydney likely outshining her competition once more. Whether she's added to the relay team or not, just the possibility adds an extra layer of anticipation to the event. The rivalry between Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone and Femke Bol is quickly becoming one of the most exciting in track and field, like the Federer and Nadal of the 400M hurdles. Every time these two face off, you know you're in for something special. Bol is no doubt an incredible athlete. Just look at her performance in the mixed 4x400M relay at the Paris Olympics, where she came from behind to clinch first place for the Netherlands, dethroning Team USA. But every time Bol challenges Sydney, Sydney rises to the occasion. She left Bol more than 10 meters behind in the 400M hurdles, 
and it seems likely that if they face off in the relay, Sydney will once again come out on top. This rivalry is pushing both athletes to new heights, making their performances even more extraordinary. It's almost as if they need each other to keep getting better, and as fans, we're lucky to watch it all unfold. What really sets Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone apart isn't just her physical talent, although that's clearly exceptional, but her mindset. She's always pushing herself to be better, to go faster, and to break barriers that no one else has even come close to. After breaking the world record again, she could have easily taken a break, but that's just not who she is. Sydney has talked openly about how each world record takes a huge toll on her, both physically and mentally. The pain and effort behind shaving milliseconds off the clock are immense, but she never lets that stop her. Her resilience is incredible. She reflects deeply on her performances, using every struggle as fuel to keep moving forward. Sydney knows that every record, every victory, is the result of years of dedication, and it's that relentless drive that makes her a true champion outdoor season with an unbeaten streak, and also created a new world record in the 400-meter hurdles with a time of 50.65 seconds in the U.S. When you see Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone gliding over hurdles with such grace and power, it's easy to think she makes it look effortless. But behind every world record, every victory, there's an immense amount of hard work that most people never see. Sydney's journey to the top of her sport has been anything but easy. It's been filled with grueling training sessions, countless sacrifices, and a relentless pursuit of perfection. Sydney's training regimen is not for the faint-hearted. We're talking about hours of intense workouts, day after day, designed to push her body to its absolute limits. It's not just about running fast, it's about refining every aspect of her technique, from the way she clears each hurdle to how she paces herself throughout the race. She's constantly fine-tuning her body, looking for any small improvement that could give her an edge. And let's not forget the mental toughness it takes to keep going when your muscles are screaming and your body is exhausted. That's where Sydney's true strength lies. Will take place a day after the women's 400 meter hurdles final. Sydney is expected to dominate there as well. Watch this to see who else is in Paris right now. Shaving even a fraction of a second off a world record is no small feat. It requires a level of dedication that most of us can hardly imagine. Each millisecond represents years of hard work, the kind that comes with a heavy physical and emotional toll. In her interviews, Sydney has been candid about the pain and effort behind her victories. She's mentioned how each new record feels like a battle, not just against the clock, but against her own limits. Breaking through those barriers takes everything she's got, and it's clear that she doesn't take her success for granted. Sydney's ability to push through the pain and continue to improve is what sets her apart from the rest. She's not just chasing records, she's constantly challenging herself to be better, to go further than she ever has before. And that kind of drive doesn't come without sacrifices. Whether it's time spent away from loved ones, the physical toll on her body, or the mental strain of competing at the highest level, Sydney has given everything to her sport. And that's what makes her victory so much more meaningful, because they're not just the result of talent, but of years of hard work and perseverance. We've ever seen it in this event. She's defended her Olympic title. She's got multiple worlds. Looking ahead, the future for Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone is as bright as ever, especially after breaking yet another world record. Sydney's not the kind of athlete who's going to sit back and rest on her accomplishments. She's always looking for the next challenge. There's a lot of buzz around the possibility of her taking on the women's 400M flat race next. Given her incredible speed and flawless technique, it's easy to imagine her making a serious run at that record too. But for Sydney, it's not just about chasing records or collecting medals. She's already cementing her legacy as more than just a world-class hurdler. She's redefining what it means to be a superstar in track and field. By constantly pushing the limits of what's possible, she's inspiring the next generation of athletes to aim higher and dream bigger. Whatever Sydney decides to pursue next, whether it's lowering her hurdles time even more or taking on new events, you can bet she'll approach it with the same relentless determination and work ethic that have brought her this far. And who knows, we might just see her break a few more records along the way. 
So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.